Hello everyone, uh, so after uh, finishing the uh, intro and uh, taking a look on uh, the final version of the uh, project we will create with the React, uh, now it's time to uh, to start building and installing React and uh, start coding our uh, our project. But before we get started with the code, uh, first you need to install node or uh, if you are not already installed it and having it on your operating system uh, you need to install it so go ahead and uh, hit nodejs.org uh, slash ing slash uh, download and uh, and download the last version of node.js um, after downloading it uh, and installing it, uh, you are ready to go. Uh, the reason, actually, we need to install Node.js is not because we are not using uh, Node uh, for our backend, because uh, we are just building a user interface for the front end. We are not using any backend, so uh, we need Node.js just to use. Uh, the tool uh, that's called npm uh, which is node package manager so we use node package manager to install dependencies and uh, and packages uh, for our project uh, that's the reason we are uh, we need to install uh, node.js so after installing node.js I need to mention that uh, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, of course, you can use uh, you can use any uh, code editor you want, uh, but I highly recommend uh, using uh, VS Code. So after that being said, let's jump into our command line. Uh, and changing the directory into my uh, my directory uh, change directory into web developments web okay change directory into projects and here we need to use the command of npx create react app and then uh, the name of our uh, our application so I will call it movies movies uh, series or subjective app and then hit enter and that will start the installation so after uh, the installation fi being finished we need to uh, change the directory into our into our new application and then I will open it with VS Code. So here is our project. Here's uh, the structure, the basic structure uh, of any React application. So let's take a look uh, on the uh, structure. We have a package.json file, which is uh, which is very important. We have uh, basic information and basic uh, basic structure of our uh, application. We have the name, we have the version, but more important, there's our scripts here. And there's our dependencies that uh, that any any dependency we will use and install uh, uh, inside our project will be listed here with dependencies. So the scripts. Let's take a look on the scripts. We have start script, which will launch our server. Uh, build to build uh, the basic and static uh, files for our uh, for our project of course we will take a look and use build 
in uh, um, in the deploying process uh, but first we need to start and test this uh, command uh, I will use the, the terminal first we need to open our uh, terminal I will use uh, the embedded one with inside uh, VS code um, it's where it was, his terminal okay in the terminal we can type npm start to start this script which will start our server so after after running the script uh, we will see that we have uh, a new uh, link which is our our project will be uh, will be running on this link localhost uh, on on the port of 3000 and you will see automatically a new a new tab is in on your on your browser uh, pointing to localhost and port 3000 so this is the basic structure and this is the basic template uh will be displaying uh after you after just after you uh you installed uh your react application so <coughs> if we tell if we take a look another look on our structure we are having this uh source folder which we uh th which is the only folder we will uh be caring about because we will have inside this folder we will have uh, our uh, components and we will have our uh, Redux uh, files uh, and any any other uh, files we need to use inside our project it will be listed here under the source folder so here's the app.css which is the basic uh, styling for the application of course we can delete them after deleting them and save you can see that the server will automatically relaunch and you will see the changes here uh, as you can see that the style being changed so so the, uh, the, the the page being changed uh, after after uh, cleaning this file we can go to uh, of course we can delete the logo which is the the react logo displaying in the page we can delete it we don't need it we can we have an error here because uh, in the app.js we are importing the logo and using it inside uh, inside our project so here in app app.js this is this is the basic and uh, the entry uh, to our uh, project this is where we listing all our components all our files uh, we listed it inside we listed them inside uh, the app.js so this is the basic uh, and the main uh, file in your application so here as you can see we have uh, we are importing react and component from React, which is a, pa uh, a package, basic package. If, as you can see, we can check it out here. We we are inst uh, we already installed a React package with our uh, application. If we get back, we can see that we have logo. Uh, we are importing logo, which is that's why we are having this error because uh, we need to delete this from here and of course we can we need to uh, actually we, we're gonna clear it all of it here uh, just in a second um, let's do it let's just clear the basic template here and save as you can see if we get back there's there's no error here uh, if we test it if we have second and if we say hello world 
and save. Here's here's our hello world because it's it's taking the template from here from this basic uh, app.js uh, file. And so what's going on here? In the simple words, we are creating a class uh, which extends a component. That component coming from React package, and also we are having this file which is index.js. Uh, we, we are not gonna, going to uh, play around with this file, we are not going to touch it, but we need to uh, know the basics and what's going on here. It's just, uh, it's calling React DOM, which is from React DOM package, and calling a method called render. <coughs> so in render, it's, uh, uh, we are inserting this app component which is coming from this app which is this file so we are uh, importing this file here to render to use it inside the render method and uh, we are telling uh, our application to render this file and this <coughs> and this root and this uh, root component or this uh, DOM element with uh, an ID of root. So if you can see here in our uh, in our basic structure here in public in the index.html we are having a root uh, element <coughs> so here where the uh, application will be rendered inside this div inside this element because we are telling React uh, to to be rendered here and uh, with inside within uh, this element. Of course, we can clear this file a little bit. We don't need any comments. We can save. So this is this is what's going on here in, in uh, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, in our React application, we are not going to to touch any of these files. We are just going to uh, play around with this file uh, app.js and also with the app.css. Uh, but this is the basic structure. This is how things going on behind the scenes in our application. So I think that's it for uh, for this video. Uh, I will see you in the next in the next video. Thank you.